Okay, today we are talking about a double pole single throw power relay with a 28 volt DC coil. Okay, so this is an ETE Potter and Brumsfield double pole single throw power relay. You can see it has a rectifier on top of it. That rectifier converts 24 volt AC to 24 volt DC. I'll remove the rectifier. So you can see what it looks like without the rectifier. So this coil on this relay operates on 24 volts DC, not AC. So if your control circuit is 24 volts AC, you need that rectifier. Close up view of the wiring schematic. You can see terminal one and zero is your coil. Eight and seven are normally closed. 6 and 8 are normally open, 4 and 3 are normally closed, 2 and 4 are normally open. Obviously on this particular relay, we do not have terminals 3 and 7. And here's the view on the side. You can see where it says 28 volts DC is a coil rating there. You can see it's a normally open relay and what the ratings are for it. Uh, I find these in new electric duct heaters uh, that we buy. We use a lot of the Warren Technology electric duct heaters in our commercial office building. An important thing to note on these power relays, the power wires, for example, come in on terminal two and go out on terminal four. Then you may have another power wire that comes in on terminal six and goes out on terminal eight. You just wanna be careful where you hook up your hot wires, your line and load wires. For example, if you hook up one hot wire on a three phase circuit, one of the hot legs to terminal two, and then another hot leg on terminal four, you're gonna short something out or cause an electrical problem, right? Cause that's not how this relay is wired so you got one hot leg coming in on terminal two, and then it goes out to your load on terminal four, for example. Then you may have another hot leg coming in on terminal six and going out on terminal eight. So what I'm trying to say is you don't want to make the mistake of having a hot leg come in on terminal two and thinking the load leg goes out on terminal six, another separate hot leg comes in on terminal four and goes out on terminal eight, that would not be correct on this relay. So it's important you pay close attention to your wiring schematic and identify those terminals properly. So next, we'll do a brief demonstration to kind of show you how it works. So I got this set up here. I got the relay, and then I got the uh, rectifier detached from the relay for now. But you can see what it looks like. That rectifier has a five second delay, by the way. So with the power off, I'm going to attach the rectifier to the relay coil terminals. And my meter is set to continuity or ohms. I'm checking between terminals 6 and 8, showing you it's open. Now if you turn the power on, You're going to see I now have continuity between terminal 2 and 4, so they're connected. And I now also have continuity between terminal 6 and 8. Woo! Again, when we energize that coil, it closes the switches inside the relay. Give you a better view of the meter. So again, between terminal 2 and 4, you can see we have a connection there now. And again, between terminal six and eight, we have a connection. If I change it to volts AC. You can see I got 29 volts AC going into the rectifier and then going out the rectifier would be 29 volts DC to energize that coil. So again, I'll put it on the audible 
so you can hear it this time. Now we turn the power on and energize that coil on the relay. You can see we have continuity between those terminals. I hope this information helps you. If you're a facilities maintenance professional, you work in the trades, I want to tell you about this practical facilities maintenance handbook. It's loaded with reference material, common shop equipment drawings, decals, signage, documents, and more. Available in the link in this video description below on Amazon.com, available in paperback and ebook format. Also, if you're looking for high quality decals for your facility, there's a link in the video description below for the decals that you see on this screen and more. I hope this information helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.